started. It's Miss Messer, your friendly neighborhood art teacher. And today I'm here to give you a tour of the wonderful, the magical, the one and only Chase Art Room. And make sure that you are paying really good attention because after we watch this video, we're gonna play a game for prizes. Woo! To see how well you are looking and listening. Right now, I'm outside the art room where you're gonna line up and enter. It's also where I pick my compliment kid. The line expectation for coming into the art room is that you're standing silently, facing forward, hands to yourself in one square. Now my compliment kid is somebody who's doing that without a reminder. And the compliment kid gets to come in first and they get to give three compliments away to their classmates as they enter the art room. As we walk in the art room, I wanna show you a few things. Right inside the door here is my gray cabinet where you'll find lots of art supplies. Um, they're labeled on the outside. So we've got crayons, markers, colored pencils, table covers, rulers, and paint shirts down at the bottom. Now we're gonna take a look inside and see how everything's organized. So notice that all the boxes are labeled. All the crayons are with crayons, the markers are with markers, the colored pencils with colored pencils but you actually can't see any of them because they're so nicely and neatly stacked and all the lids are closed. This is how they should always look in order to be taken care of in order to treat our, our supplies respectfully. In the top drawer are some items for students in grades four through six only. They are kits for students who finish their projects early. You must ask the teacher's permission before using them and make sure to read all directions in the kit. All right, let's walk a little further and I want you to notice, oh my God, there's a brand new carpet in the art room. My students in grades kindergarten through third grade will sit on this rug when they enter quietly. Everyone gets their own square and you sit crisscross on it. My students in grades four to six will walk quietly to their seats, sit with their hands folded, their mouths closed, and make sure that they do that quietly so we can begin making art as soon as possible. Let's take a quick look at tables. You'll notice these tables are color coded. On each table there is a caddy, that's what this thing is, filled with some supplies you'll need like pencils, erasers, trash cup, broom, badges, we'll talk more about those later. There is also underneath the table a bin. It's filled with books, dry erase boards, it has a sock for you to use as your dry erase board eraser with two dry erase board markers in it. This is for the students who have extra time after they're finished working. Handle all the supplies and books in this bin with care. There are four other important spots in the art room that I will talk a lot about. You'll hear me talk about the front table. That's right here. This is where I often sit during class to take attendance and sometimes you might find supplies or art on it. I also have some fancy new how to draw books oh, yeah. in this red container that can be checked out if you're finished with a project. Princesses, sharks, birds, monsters, Disney characters, dinosaurs, vehicles, animals, boats, planes, and trains. Oh. In front of the front table is the supply stand. You'll see that our free draw paper is here in this green tray. You'll see our dirty paintbrush bucket and other supplies that might de uh, change depending on the projects that we're making. In the book, woo! You'll find the back table right here. This is where I ask you to put your artwork at the end of class. Now, if your work has wet paint on it, or wet glue on it, your table's art collector will lay it here so it can dry. If it doesn't, the art collector will put it in the box that matches your table color. 
Now this has changed since last year, so I want to make sure you realize that your artwork now goes in a different spot. It's all back here by the back table. If you have wet paint or wet glue, it goes on top. That's where your art collector will put it. Now, if you're sitting at the red table and you do not have wet paint or wet glue on your awesome artwork, you're gonna put it in this box right here, lay it in there gently. Now, if you sit at the yellow table, you put it at the yellow box. Light blue in the light blue box, and so on and so forth. These boxes are empty because we haven't made any amazing artwork yet, but that's going to change today. Okay, you'll also hear me talk about, in addition to the front table, the supply stand, the back table, you'll hear me talk about my desk. Sometimes I'll ask um, a teacher's helper to get something off of my desk. Here it is. Ah, oh, what do you know? There's my coffee on it and everything. Notice that we have two sinks. If you need to wash your hands in art, please ask first. Do not wash your hands during cleanup time and make sure you throw away your paper towels when you're finished. It should only take 10 seconds to wash the paint off your hands. Now I'm going to demonstrate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Near the sinks, there is a piece of tape on the floor. This tape is your line at the end of class. The line expectation is that you have two feet on the line. Boop. If your class has an ABC order, you're in your ABC order. You're facing forward, you're quiet, and your hands are to yourself. Guess what is right here if you forget? Face forward, mouse close, hands to yourself, two feet on the line. Boop. As I walk to the front of this line, I'll see our class goals game board. This game board helps us work towards special days in art. So we're not doing art parties like we have done in the past. We're going to have a reward every single day in art that you can earn. It's up there. Right now, it's a one minute dance party. Don't mind if I do. But we are still gonna have this class goals game board that will help us earn special art projects like jewelry making, shrinky dinks, and clay. Okay, artists, now that we're done with our tour of the art room, we're gonna play a little game for some prizes to see how well you were paying attention. Hmm.